April 20th here in Florida for travel vlog number three and I guess I haven't really told you guys like why I'm here I've put up my travel vlogs um, it's kind of been like a mini vacation but there is a point um, for me being here and I figured I would start this video off by kind of explaining why um, I'm here and you guys have heard me say many times in vlogs hinting at like oh man I wish I could like I wish the weather would be better. I want to move to a warm climate. I want to go somewhere where the fitness industry is booming, where there's a lot more opportunities out there for me to grow as a personal trainer, as a man, just as an entrepreneur. And that's why I'm here this week. I'm here apartment searching, I'm looking for a place to call home. Um, will Sarasota, this area down here in Florida, be my home? I don't know, that's why I'm here looking for apartments to see what I can find, um, if I like the area, and really just kind of exploring different options. Is Sarasota going to be the only place I visit, the only place that I kind of explore? Maybe, depends on kind of what I find while I'm here, and that is the main goal today, is apartment searching. So, um, I have five places lined up, I'm going to head there right now and look at these different apartments. Um, I'll take you guys along. Let's go. All right, guys. So before going to any, whoa, it zoomed in on me. Before going to any apartments, I wanted to stop and get something to eat real quick because I have not eaten yet today. So I just went to Subway and I picked up the usual steak, egg and cheese on flatbread, but I subbed out my steak for chicken that is a protein tip if you're trying to keep your like calories and macros in line and you just want to be getting your protein up go with the steak egg and cheese just tell them steak egg and cheese on flatbread get wheat bread get the egg whites and then when they're about to put the steak on say can i have the chicken patty strips instead and so they'll put two of those chicken patty strips on you're set you're good to go lots of protein and then I also picked up two bags of these because I don't really have anything back in my hotel room to kind of like snack on like while I'm editing a video or doing anything. So I figured I'd pick up two bags of those just kind of like snack on later in the day. But about to eat this real quick, listen to a podcast while I'm driving to uh, the first apartment and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, so just got done looking at my last apartment for the day and I ended up and I looked at three i was gonna look at five but i only was able to look at three because i drove through the neighborhood of the first one and after driving through that neighborhood i didn't even have to go to the office i was like no not a place i want to live um two i showed up to the office of the second one and for some reason in this random week in april they were closed for vacation so i wasn't able to look at that one um, but i did look at three I actually really liked one of them. Um, obviously, it was the most expensive one, but um, I'm going to talk to some other people that I know that already live here just to, just to kind of get like um, their thoughts and perspective and recommendations on kind of like apartments, neighborhoods, things like that, just so I can have a more well-rounded perspective before I do make that move um, from Indiana to potentially Florida. Um, I just kind of want to cover all my bases, so I don't have anything kind of like come about that's unexpected if I do move here um, I definitely want to yes just have a well-rounded perspective but about to head back to my hotel and I'll see you guys in the next clip I'm gonna land myself some froyo or some pancakes 
weights or whatever it is just to keep me on track. And so when it comes to the weekend, I don't actually feel the need to, you know, go out and have, you know, a big massive cheat meal, you know? Alright guys, so just watching a little bit of Rob Lipset right now on YouTube, I came back to my room after apartment searching and then I got dressed for the gym, about to head and get a pull day in. Um, but not having a pre-workout today, just going to have one serving, well, the rest of this bag of the Big Sour Patch Kids. Now, I don't know about you guys, but bigger is better. And ah, I love these. Um, plus, they're way more sour, in my opinion. I think these are way more sour. And I like to put them in the fridge. That way, they're not just super chewy. Um, I don't know. I just like my sour candy in the fridge, hardens up a little bit, mm, love it. But about to head to the gym, hit a pool day. Now, I cannot guarantee the footage today is going to be that stellar because I'm working out by myself and I'm gonna be trying to get a pool workout in. So, not really sure how this is gonna work out, but we're gonna do it, so I'll see you guys at the gym. Let's go. We put the good in the good in the good life. We put the good in the good in the good life. We put the bad in the past, now we are. Told my moms not to stress no more Go hit the Bentley store And no credit card debts no more I bought the crib and it's an escrow now So you don't never have to worry about how you gon' pay rent no more I put my team in position, now they making a killing Stacking blue faces straight to the ceiling Out in Vegas, I'm with them Ordering bottles of the Ace when they send them Till it ain't enough space up on the table to fit them Go ahead and raise a cup up for all my day ones Do me do fingers for the hair So, done at the gym, hit back and buys today, only filmed my pull-ups and the stuff I did outside, so deadlifts too. I honestly was not planning on doing deadlifts because I didn't bring my belt, didn't bring my chalk, didn't bring anything for deadlifts, but it was beautiful weather. I've never had the opportunity to actually like deadlift outside, um, so I took advantage of that and Decided to work up to 405 hit that for one because I didn't really feel super comfortable going um, that much heavier with um, Without a belt or without like chalk wasn't a big deal. Uh, my grip strength has actually increased a lot Since I've been doing deadlifts over the past year, so chalk wasn't a big deal My grip was not a problem at all with 405. It was just without a belt I don't want to like risk it by doing something stupid just to kind of like ego lift or whatever. So worked up 405. Now I am going to go get some food. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys. So post workout meal was actually eating at a dine-in theater called Cine Bistro and I'm gonna be completely honest I've been to I can't even count how many movie theaters I've been to in my life that is number one the nicest theater I have ever ever been in the service was great the screen was huge the sound was awesome like literally that was number hands down the best theater I have ever been in at least and I went to go see Fate of the Furious. That was the third time I've seen that movie. Um, I'm going to be honest, tonight, um, I, I just wanted to go to the theater to experience this place. Um, and Fate of the Furious was the only movie playing after 9 o'clock. So, of course, I went to go see it. Um, and I'm going to be completely honest, it's, it's a fun enough movie for me to not care that it's the third time I've seen it. Um, and... Like, first and foremost, like, if you go into watching a Fast and Furious movie at this point, and you're expecting, like, a great story, you obviously have not seen the last few Fast and Furious movies. So, this movie, to me, I went in, 
you can say, oh, you shouldn't have to shut your brain off for a movie. You know what? Sometimes it's kind of fun to just like shut your brain off and go in and just have fun with a movie. You don't have to worry about fantastic Oscar award nominee acting. You don't have to worry about, oh, this is the best script that Hollywood's put out this year. No, sometimes it's fun to just go watch Vin Diesel, The Rock, Jason Statham, like them tear up a bunch of cities and like drive away from a huge submarine that like Charlize Theron is controlling. Like seriously, sometimes it's okay to just go do that and have fun with the movie and I did. Um, in my opinion, this is the second best a Fast and Furious movie. You can disagree, whatever. Um, I think right behind Fast Five, I think this is better than Furious 7. I really liked Furious 7, but I think that movie um, almost had more of a sentimental value with it being Paul Walker's last movie than it actually being like a, like a really good movie. Um, I thought this one was better, but hey, that's just my opinion. Um, the really only the the only problem I really had with this movie um, was Charlize Theron's character as the villain. You would think that she's probably the best actress or actor in the entire movie, but I just felt like her character motivation wasn't there. Sure, like of course it's probably not going to be a well-written character, but I just felt like her character, her villain, didn't really have a motive for doing what she was doing. But nonetheless, had a lot of fun with it. By the way, you guys have probably already seen reviews for this movie and everybody's saying it. Best part of this movie was watching The Rock and Jason Statham go back and forth. It's like, that that was fun. It always added a lot of comic relief to the movie. Um, but yes, have you guys seen Fate of the Furious? And what did you think? Did you think it was just a big, bloated, Hollywood action piece of junk? Or did you actually have fun with it like I did? Um, let me know in the comments below, but I'm about to head home, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So, I was editing up this vlog that you guys are watching right now, and it is 1 a.m., and I've already eaten the other six inches of that Subway sub that I had this morning, and other than that sub, and my post-workout meal at Cine Bistro, which was four hours ago at this point, I haven't had anything today. I had a Quest Bar when I woke up, that sub from Subway, and some popcorn chicken. That's it. So, we're about to go on a little adventure for some late night food. Not really sure what's open around the area, but I'm sure we can find something absolutely delicious and a very healthy option. All right guys, so probably not the healthiest option. Got myself a Baja Blast Mountain Dew beefy five layer and a triple layer nachos from Taco Bell. But it's delicious and it's gonna get me through editing the rest of this vlog. But I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. That way I still have one or two more travel vlogs after this one, so stay tuned for those. And uh, thank you guys for watching this one. By the way, today we passed 3,000 subscribers here on the channel, so I want to give a very heartfelt thank you to every single person that has hit that red subscribe button throughout my journey here on YouTube. Literally, like it means the world to me that you guys take time out of your days out of your schedules to watch my videos. So thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate it. But if you guys like this one, make sure to give it a like so more people see it. That way, more people jump on the train and hit that red subscribe button down below. But thanks again so much for watching, guys. I love every single one of you, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. And it's a feeling that I can't explain. How you make it in your team, still stay the same. Stay down from the jump, and they never change. Man, it's a moment I could never trade. Yeah, I told my moms not to stress no more. Go ahead.